fictitious musing. Black magic has buried its potency into my flesh, awaking dark, dormant incantations. My reptile tattoos seem to crawl and slither across my skin, almost breathing, nearly alive. Through untamed brambles and vines lies a dilapidated courtyard and a faded giant chessboard. Time has been unkind, unleashing its pernicious side, degrading my saccharine sanctuary into an insipid place, decrepit and gloomy. Nostalgia can never be replicated, like most things in life. Once a memory is broken, it will always be broken, restoration is a foolish notion. Sitting next to a waterfall, slowly aging, while the sky is still raging with aerial warfare, a portrait of fire and despair, an impressionistic painting of a wartime scene. Wind turbines stand still, steel giants, left to rust beneath the buttery pomegranate sunset. Frozen mammoth structures, decaying in the dirt, abandoned by the passing ages. I've stared down the barrel of deception, and exposed its wicked ways. Stripping back the skin of lies, I peeled away the layers of falsity, to reveal the concealed truth. Integrity should never be imprisoned, it needs to be free. I escape to imaginary places in my brain, like Tamarackian Castle, a solar-powered fortress on a slowly sinking island. My mind is crazy in the most wonderful way and wonderful in the most crazy way. I'm in a Zugs Wang scenario, a compulsion to make the next move, not wanting to but knowing that I must. Do I possess the strength to keep playing this game of life versus death? I'm not sure, but it's a game no mortal can ever win. Not long from now poverty will find its way in the form of disarray. The rich will weep, but the poor will get to sleep in a warm bed, greed will be dead, and all will be right with the world.